Okay, so um, since morning, I thought he dodged that refinery news. I don't know why Nigeria has not believed federal government. Federal government tell us, say, put a go refinery to the work. As a matter of fact, they say they don't offload petrol into trucks, they don't sell, they push them to fill the station. But Nigeria has not really believed. People have been on my DM asking me if not fake news or if not true. Okay, so long story short, let me come and tell you what happened. All of a sudden, from nowhere today, 9 NPC court tell us. Say, Portacourt Refinery done the work. They have been promising us that this refinery will work since last year. The first thing that last year, the same and I will work. So, most more, they push and go again. I know Kilo Bobiri, Minister of State for Petroleum, push and go another day to get there, push and go another day to get Finally, today, they don't wake up. Say, the refinery done the work. As a matter of fact, the refinery is not in capacity to be able to give fuel out and they're loading trucks today. I say, what? They said the refinery is now refining 60,000 barrels of crude oil per day. The refinery is built to handle 90,000 barrels. But they say it's now refining, refining 60,000 barrels of crude oil per day. So as time goes on, they will get to their 90,000 barrels. The refinery is now, is now refining petrol, diesel, and kerosene. As time goes on, they will refine other products. And then they gave a press release by NNPC to that effect. Let me show you the press release. Press release, NMPC Limited delivers Portacot refinery as plants begin struck out of product. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NMPC Limited, has fulfilled its pledge of restreaming the Portacot refining company, signaling the commencement of crude oil processing from the plant and delivery of petroleum products into the market. On Tuesday, trucks began loading petroleum products, which include premium motor spirits or petrol, automotive gas oil, AGU, or diesel, in household kerosene or kerosene, while other product slates will be dispatched as well. Speaking during a brief ceremony to mark the commencement of products loading at the refinery on Tuesday in Port Harcourt, the group CEO, Melekiari, described the commencement of the loadout activities as a monumental achievement for Nigeria, which signifies a new era of energy independence and economic growth for the country. The GCU particularly thanked President Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFRO for his unwavering support and understanding towards the rehabilitation project and for his persistence to ensure energy security for the country. Kiari also expressed deep appreciation to the NNPC Limited Board of Directors and the entire staff for their support and commitment, which crystallized into the streaming of the refinery. He also commended the contractors for doing a great job in ensuring that the refinery is delivered despite all challenges. The GCO further thanks Nigerians for their patience and for the legitimate expectations on the company to deliver on other refineries. So after that, they started showing us videos of trucks when they move out from the refinery, loading petrol and going to other places. Now the trucks, they're not the season for this video here now. The question is, is it true? I mean, that they play us because you're not getting anything with Nigeria federal government of you do. We did this country, we have the social tell us, say, they don't launch Nigeria air. <laughs> Only for us to find that thing. Now, what the air is not a go, we paint the play. They don't go play the painter. They don't come stick up with God drop on me. For a refinery to work, let the refinery start working today. It will take days. Before petrol starts coming out from that refinery, if not weeks. If the refinery has started loading today, which means petrol, diesel, and kerosene don't come out, that means the refinery has started to work some days or some weeks ago. Why didn't they tell us? I don't know. For reasons best known to them. But we'll be watching these developments, you know, because we're not sure yet. Now, federal government will talk about we are not sure yet. Let's give it a while. We will see that they are still offloading petrol from that refinery. The next question people are asking now is that is petrol going to be cheap? No. Petrol is not going to be cheaper. Petrol is not the price of petrol is not determined whether we whether we refine it in Nigeria or not. The price of petrol is determined on the price of crude oil in the world market. The only thing we will command the price. The only thing we will come at the price. Now, the money we will tell a ship and come from abroad before. And it was the same thing I was telling people over Dangote Refinery. 
Then, probably because, okay, Dango Tidoni will be fine. Portakot will find that we don't be fine. The two of them come together. They will be able to handle enough well that we need in the country, which means we don't need to go and buy well from refineries abroad anymore. So that dollar, when this market has defined to go buy the foil come from abroad, then we will need to find the dollars again, which means the pressure on the dollar will drop, which means the value of dollar fee reduced small. But I still don't trust federal government. So what we'll do is let's wait. Let's watch. If Portacourt Refinery is really not working, We'll give it a while it will start working in full capacity. After that, they will now go and check if they can make worry refinery work. Don't forget, they bought the money they used to fix that refinery. $1.5 billion since 2020 something. 2021 or so. They borrowed that money. And they will have to pay back. But let's just watch. They say tank as well, the commodity be no wala. Let's see the impact on petrol in the next few days. If we have enough petrol or the price of petrol is going to drop a bit, then I'd be saying that's true.